Hi guys, in the last video I showed you how you can make a USB installer so you can um, install Ubuntu 12.4 onto a machine. In this video I'll be showing you how you can actually go from that and install it onto a PC. In the next short clip I apologise for the quality of the recording as I had to do this by hand um, but in, in this next video it just basically shows you how you can choose the boot device on a PC but um, once I've showed you how you do that I'll be continuing the video on uh, with installing it onto a virtual machine that way the quality of the recording is going to be a hell of a lot better and it should be a bit faster as well To install Ubuntu 12.4 onto a desktop you must first choose a boot device. On this PC, press the escape key to view the boot devices. Once you press this, it will show you the list of attached devices in which you can boot from. I will be choosing USB SanDisk. If you are wanting to boot from a CD, you can click your CD drive below. As soon as this loads up, make sure to click Install Ubuntu onto a hard disk. When Ubuntu has finished loading, you will need to make sure that you click your language in which you would like to install this. This one I will be clicking English and then continue. I will be finishing this video using a virtual machine. Once you've chosen the language in which you want to install this way, you will then see the following page. I will be choosing to download updates while installing. This is just to make sure that once the installation has completed, the server will be up to date. Once you've done that, go ahead and click continue. If you're wanting to run Ubuntu alongside another device um, or another operating system, then you're going to want to choose something else. Whereas if you're just wanting to delete the entire contents of a hard drive and just install Ubuntu that way, then you're going to want to choose a raised disk and install Ubuntu. Once you've done that, go ahead and click continue. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click install now. If you look on the screen below, you can see the things on which it is actually doing um, while installing. And now we need to choose a location for where we are for things such as the keyboard and the time. So um, I'm going to be setting this as London, as I'm actually in England, but that's the only city it recognises. Um, and then click continue. Obviously, if you're in America, then you put the US or whatever. But um, again, now we need to choose the keyboard layouts. Mine's English UK. And then click continue. And here we're going to want to put um, your name, the computer name, what you want the computer to be called, um, a username, a password and whether you want it to be whether you want it to log in automatically and require a password once it logs in so um for this for the purpose of this video I'm, I, I wouldn't recommend encrypting the home folder um, i'm just going to go ahead and fill all this out and i'll be back to you once i've finished i've just finished typing in my username and password and everything that i've set it so that um once the installation's finished it logging automatically and I haven't encrypted my home folder. Ubuntu is now just going to finish installing the system and if anything else pops up along the way I'll make sure to include it in the video. 
once the installation has completed, you'll see a message box like this saying, Installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. Now we need to click Restart Now. Once the computer has rebooted, you should see a screen asking you to log in if you chose to use a password to log in before. If not, it should automatically load in. So, thank you for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you how you can actually go ahead and start to install the LAMP server. Um, and if, if, if you enjoyed watching the video, then please make sure you comment below and like and subscribe um, if you've got any questions or if there's anything I haven't really explained properly or if there's anything you want to actually see in the future then please make sure you comment below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you on it and um, as I said thank you for watching and hopefully, hopefully I'll see you in the next video